Hello, my name is Bruce Clow. I run CRSL Beekeeping Supplies. Today we're going to talk about floors or bases and lids. The floor of the hive is essential because we want to make sure that uh, the hive stays warm and the way to do that is to give them a nice solid base. In this case, this is a, an eight frame box base. It's already assembled. You can get these uh, simple wood products in kit set form as well, which you can assemble yourself. As you can see, there's no treatment on the inside of this base, but we use H3 treated runners, which are gonna sit on the ground. So that's your standard base. You can get it in all the sizes. That's the full depth standard, the full depth eight frame, which I've got, and the slim line. Now one thing with the introduction of the Varroa mite in New Zealand is uh, the desire to give the bees every opportunity to get the Varroa out of the hive. So here we have a mesh floor base or floor. In this case, any natural fall of the Varroa mite will eliminate it from the hive. It also provides good ventilation in the summer. And in the winter, if you feel that uh, you're in a particularly cold area, you can just cover that with a piece of cardboard or plywood and uh, it should keep the bees good and snug. This particular one, it comes with a reduced entrance, which helps uh, the bees defend the entrance against wasps. Now, the top of the hive, you're gonna need a lid. Now on the very top, there's basically two styles of lid. In this case, we've got a closed corner lid. It's also often called a telescoping lid because it, when it slides down, it's like a telescope going in and out. That's the way you need to get this lid on and off. So this is a full closed corner lid. The other style is what's called a sprung ends lid or an open corner lid. Here, the ends flex so that when you put it on the hive, it grips the hive. Now, I find this lid a lot easier to get on and off, simply because I don't have to make sure that it's going on perfectly straight and perpendicular to the hive. I can just open up the springs and pick it off. Now, both these lids come in different gauges. That's different thicknesses of metal. These two are 0.55 gauge, or you can get the more robust 0.75 in both the closed corner or the sprung end lid. Now underneath the lid, we need to put on what's called a hive mat. Sometimes it's called a crown board. In New Zealand, because we're reasonably temperate, the board is solid. Now, this piece of equipment is actually essential because if we didn't have this, the bees would glue the lid down and we would never get it off. So basically this allows the bees to glue with their propolis to the top of the hive. We can get the lid off and then we can use our hive tool to break the seal on the hive mat so we can get into the hive. This is the standard one. It's 21 mils wide. This is a 26 mil wide hive mat. This one is often used to drill holes and turn it into a bee escape if you so desire. And then the largest one that we make is the 50 mil. So here we have quite a big void there and this particular hive mat makes a, a, a very effective bee escape because it gives lots of room for the bees to get out once you've used it on the hive. So that fills you in a little bit on some of the uh, extra pieces of the hive and uh, enjoy your beekeeping. <laughs>